What's going on everybody at YouTube? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and I'm going to show you what I picked up today so don't go nowhere. You won't want to miss these awesome finds. Okay, and if you guys like this type of content, reselling, working from home, entrepreneur type of stuff, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, keep it respectable, um, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. So we're going to jump right into the video. I'm going to show you what I picked up yesterday. I went over to the Salvation Army that's over, it's like a block over, so I try to go over there whenever I can. Um, I was trying to buy um, rag bags from them. What they do is they ship them, they put them all on a Salvation Army box truck, and they ship them out and they bail them. So they said something about a contract or something where, so it's like, you know, whatever. I, I can't, you can't buy things like that from them. So they're probably putting a lot of really good t-shirts um, that they can't sell. They could be band shirts, you know, um, Rock and roll, whatever, Harley Davidson, just because they have a hole, a stain, a rip, a tear, whatever, um, they're throwing them in rag bag piles and they're all getting pushed onto a truck and they're probably getting destroyed or they're just recycled or whatever is happening. And it's a real shame because there's probably a lot of really cool stuff that goes on that truck, but I have no control over that. There's nothing I can do. So it's just, you got to let it go. You know, it is what it is. So we're going to get into the whole video. I'm going to show you what I sold. Um, by the way, um, my last video, it may have been the last one, I'm not sure, but I showed you the, the R, the double R, um, the double RL, whatever, Ralph Lawrence does very well. I got 70 for this. I paid 495 for this. Um, the first offer of $70 I took because um, there's really nothing crazy going on with this. There's no, it's just a plain solid black, but um, they do sell close to $100. So if you guys find them, Especially if it's an item like this, if it's like, if it's jeans or if it's wool or it's a, you know, if it's a heavy sweat, like this is a heavy cotton sweater. So, um, that's sold so I can ship that out. That's done already. Um, I do have a couple other decent, um, items that I showed you guys yesterday. The Eddie Bauer, the, the Columbia Aztec design. That is definitely going to, um, do well. But anyway, so today I picked up some items. I want to let you guys know, make sure... You guys are saving your receipts. Um, I have this to plug in my SD card. I have one of these around here somewhere. It's one of those ones where you just kind of plug it in to this and it's USB. You pull the cap off and it plugs into your computer. I have one around here already and I didn't know that. That was only $10. Um, I just wanted to pay the $10 just in case I can't find the other one or it takes forever to find it. I mean, I don't know where I put it. So um, it should be, you know what? I bet you I find it. I'm going to be like, mm, son of a gun. Is it in there? No, but there is an SD card in there, but that's just an adapter. But I have one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I may have sold it because I did sell a camera and I, I had some things with it, but it's not in here, is it? But anyway, um, getting off subject, these are all items that I bought. I, I usually just buy the screen protectors and cut them out. I'm not paying $19 for a screen protector that, um, so I bought two of them in case I mess one of them up. I just cut them out, put them on my phone. I'm fine with that. As long as it reaches, it covers my phone, I'll, I'll just push out the bubbles. But anyway, you guys can claim all this type of stuff, like the eye wipes, the glass wipes, things like that. These are things that you are using. I need my glasses to see, so my glasses are part of my, basically part of my business in, in a sense, you know, to kind of... Um, for lack of better terms or better way to, to explain it, but I need a new phone case. I did get one at Verizon because I didn't want to leave without one. I probably spent, I think I spent $30 on it. I do have the case for it. I think what I'm going to do is I am, where's it at? I think it's right here. I'm just going to, I'm going to slap it back in the case and I'm going to resell it. Um, as far as it is a brand new phone, so it's the Galaxy S21 um, Ultra 5G, so it's a brand new case. <sighs> I, since it's a spec, um, I'll probably get like 15 for it, whatever. I'll get half my money back, so I don't care. Um, I, I waste a lot of money, and you, I wouldn't advise that, you know, but it is what it is. 
So I'm going to show you what we got at over there. A lot of things were on sale. Okay, so this isn't a crazy good brand. It's okay. It is Segoy, I guess. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, anything that was stamped or marked or whatever was half off or 50 cents or whatever it was. I think it was half off. So there's the brand right there. This is a cycling jersey. I didn't see any um, cutoff ones. I didn't see any tank top ones. And it has the pockets in the back for the water bottles and whatever and whatnot. So um, since this was half off, it was already only priced at $3. So this was $1.50. Um, $1.50 into maybe $25. Not either $20 or $25. Something like that. So it could be more. It could be less. This I was actually surprised to see that this was actually worth that much. This is like a $30, $30 or $35 sale. Um, it does have a few scratches on it. It is Blu-ray, but it does have a, it has a, it has a long scratch at the top around it. I'm just going to have to take a chance with that. I don't know if that is a scratch, if it will come out. It wasn't a scratch, so we're good to go. So I should be able to clean this up. It'll be, it'll be perfect. Um... I just got it anyway because it was only $3. I figured 3 into 30. Can't beat that ROI. If you guys don't know what ROI stands for, it is your return on investment. So um, not a bad investment, $3 into 30. Since it's in perfect condition, it's complete. The book is there. Make sure you guys are putting stuff like that in your titles too. Um, whenever I do games and they're complete, they come with the booklet or the manual or whatever. I always put complete in the title. So um, I don't know if this is going to be a great color. Is that some fading going on in there? Yeah. I didn't realize that. That actually looks like it was sitting somewhere and it got a little moldy. I didn't notice that or I probably wouldn't have bought it. I don't know if this was on sale. No, I don't think this was on sale. But it was $8.99. Um, this is a wool Calvin Klein over overcoat. Overcloat. Over, overcloat. Okay, so it's fully lined. The lining is a little... A little rough. Yeah, I just like pulled a little, pulled a thread out of it and it's like stuck to my hand now. Okay, thread, go over there. All right. Um, just the basic Calvin Klein label. Um, I'll probably get like 50 or 60 for this. I'm definitely going to charge shipping for something like this. It's too big um, and bulky. I, know, I really don't know where it's going to go. It's definitely going to weigh like probably like five pounds, four to five pounds, maybe more. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that, but I think it was worth $9 because I think I could turn that 9 into, you know, maybe 90 maybe 80 or 90 if I'm lucky. I'll price it high and we'll see what happens. And um, I picked this up because I think this is a silk and linen blend. It's actually a petite. Petite what? Petite what size? It just says PP. Petite. That's weird. I don't see the size on it. So this is petite. So this is the Lauren Ralph Lauren green label. Um, this was on sale also. It's only $2 and 50 cents. I just thought it was, it's not really cute, but it is silk and linen. So that might just kind of spark off the sale, you know, and get it to sell, but we'll see. I'll, I'll cross list it over to Poshmark with list perfectly. Let's see how that works. Um, we did get a couple suits. I'm going to show you that. I think I'm going to go into a few things that sold as well. I want to try out my new Logitech camera. I want to see how well it works. I think it was. It is the 1080p um, ProStream webcam Logitech. This is the one. The last one I had had the privacy lid. <clears throat> and it was actually worth a little bit more. And... I didn't think I was going to do screen shares anymore. So I was like, you know what? I don't need it. I'll just get rid of it. I'll just use my phone. I wasn't paint, wasn't thinking that I'm definitely going to do what sold videos. In order to do that, I have to have screen share. So you have to have a webcam. So, duh. I just picked up another webcam for my... I have an all-in-one HP at home, which I was renting from Rana Center, which is... I don't know if it's like almost paid off now. Probably not. I probably they, they charge you twice as much for an item. So sometimes it's easier just to do that. Just to, you know, you're paying more for it, but it's convenient. If you don't have the thousand dollars to drop on something, it's easier to go to. Like if you want a game console or something, you can go there and just rent it, whatever. And then when you get tired of it, you can just give it back. I mean, it's kind of a waste of money if you do that, but you know, whatever. 
All right, so we did get some suits here. This one was $11. It is a nice black pinstripe Hart Schaffner Marks. So here's the logo, but it is a, it's a gold trumpeteer. So it's a Hart Schaffner Trump, or yeah, Hart, Hart Schaffner Marks Gold. Is it a trumpeteer? No, this isn't a trumpeteer, this is just a gold. So I don't know what the gold sell for. I know the gold trumpeteers do go for um, a decent amount. It's not, it's not a really super old one. It's probably like mid 2000s, like um, I think the last one I looked at was like 2006 or something like that. But then it has the inside. Make sure you guys are looking on the inside of the trousers for stains. Because a lot of times they'll be white on the inside and they don't look good. So I can't stress that enough for you guys. I don't know how many times I got a suit home. I could probably at least count about five times where I've looked inside and it was like, oh, they're, they're just stained up disgusting. And I had to get rid of them. Like, you can't sell something like that. So, yeah, no good. All right, so here is another one. This one's nicer. This one's like a soft wool. Like a, um, it almost looks like it's pilled a little bit, but it's not. It's kind of like fuzzy is, is a better, is a good word. So this one is a gold trumpeteer. So this one is another heart. Heart Shafter Marks is another really high-end brand. It does do well. These are a little bit older suits, but I think they'll still do well because, um, because of the, because of the background of the suit, you know, because of the reputation, for, um, for lack of, I think that's a good word. And they threw in the hanger, which I pro I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably not gonna add. I mean, I probably could add the hanger in. I'm just, they want the hanger, you know, it is a, it does go with the suit. So here are the pants, trousers, whatever. So with them suits, um, if I get 50 bucks a piece for them, I'll be happy with that. I know a lot of people get a lot more for their suits. I mean, they, they make them look better and they, they put more time into them. I don't do that anymore. I just don't have time for that. I want to just list them, hang them up on the, on the you know, in front of a background and just move on with my life. I, I don't want to dress them up, put the tie on, put the shirt on. I don't want to do that with my mannequin. As you can see, I'll show you guys. I have the canali on there right now, which I'm going to get listed today. As you can see, I even built my mannequin. I even put wheels on it instead of it just being like the female one that I have. You guys can see that. It just has the stand on it. Um, that one did too, but I it was they just the male ones break all the time. I don't know why. If you guys have experience with buying the mannequins and the the, the feet always break, if you're hanging like if you're hanging like really heavy items like that sport coat, you know, like that overcoat, it's just a really heavy item and it it pushes down on the feet, on the wooden feet for the um for the mannequin, for the stand, and they just kind of just bow out and they break. The wood is so cheap that it just kind of cracks and breaks. I tried fixing them. So I said, "You know what? I just built my own for this one. This one is actually like 2 by 4s with the pole going through the 2 by 4s screwed in like it's like super <laughs> it's yeah I, I made my own all right so i thought this was pretty cool it's definitely vintage it's on a russell tag made in usa i'll show you guys the there's the russell russell tag made in usa the old russell um but this is pennsylvania blue blue shield um <clears throat> it just says pennsylvania real big but i think it's brand new i don't think it was ever worn it says big 33. So, I mean, is that, what is the big 33? Is that like, is that college? Is, I don't know what it is. All I know is that it's old. It's in really good shape. It's, it's brand new condition. I'm probably going to sell it new without tags. I'm hoping to get at least like 30 or 40 for this. Um, it could possibly be worth a lot more. I don't know. I paid five for that. So... Maybe we will just kind of go with whatever I do for this video instead. I do have a lot of lot of stuff to do. Um, maybe I'll add the what sold on. I don't know. Two ninety nine for this doors. It is on an older tag. It's not made in USA, but it is made from from you um from USA components. I believe it says. It says assembled in El Salvador of USA fabrics. So I don't know. I don't know how old this shirt is. I don't know what it's worth. It's really cool. It's got Jim Morrison 
on it. If you guys don't know, um, Val Kilmer actually played Jim Morrison in the Doors movie, which was a really good movie. I love when he takes the turkey, like throws the turkey. At, it's Thanksgiving, so you know I have to talk about the turkey scene. He like just takes the turkey out of the oven and throws it out the door. Like he was like he was on drugs all the time, and he was a, he was a nut. He was a real crazy son of a gun. But, um, yeah, it's a good movie. Val Kilmer plays everyone. He plays Jim Morrison. He plays Batman. He's just, like, it's amazing. All the, you know, the, he's so versatile as an actor. And that's what makes you a good actor, I guess. So, and all, all in all, oh, I didn't notice that this had a hole on the, ah, on, oh, it's hole. I'll have to put that in the listing. I didn't notice that. I wouldn't have got it. This is a Shepler's Western shirt, but the pattern on it is so cool, like, I'm guessing that this is an older one. I'm hoping that it is, but this is just an old Western Pearl Snap. Um, I've seen like the old Western records. I've seen Pearl Snaps where, see there's three buttons on this sleeve. I've seen one where there's like six buttons, seven, eight buttons. Like they used to just really, really snazzy dressers, the, wet, the old Western country singers. It's crazy. It's funny. All right, so we have a couple more items in here, I think. All right, so I know that this was a little bit older. Here's an older Woolrich. This is just like a heavy. It's kind of like a um like a work shirt, almost like a, um like maybe um like an officer or you know um I'm trying to think like a park ranger. That's what I'm thinking of, something like that. But it's just a really cool. It's olive green. I think I can get a decent amount for this. Um, it was only four bucks. So some of the things that I find, like some things are super overpriced and then you find items like these where they're going to sell, they're probably going to sell really fast because they're vintage. Um, I believe it's the same tag that the other Woolrich is on. Um, I want to double check this because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's made in USA, um, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's made in Ma 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 Macau or whatever. Is that how you pronounce it? M-A-C... AU, something like that, but anyway, whatever. I know it's vintage. It's got the old tag on it. Um, it's really cool. It has the pieces right there. I think that you put like, I guess you can put your CB on that too. And there's, there. I think they're used for different things, for different reasons. I don't, I don't know really what they're for. And I think that this is made by Wrangler. What isn't it? Made by Wrangler or something like that. It is definitely, it's made in USA. I think it says Ruddy, is it Ruddy Duck? It's made by, oh, I can't think, I can't see what it says, but when I looked it up, it was another brand. What does it say? It says Ruddy Duck something. I know it's made by another company. I can't remember if it's, is it Wrangler? It doesn't look like it says Wrangler, but there's the tag. But this is a shooting shirt, has the padding right there um, for the for the buck of the gun when you're shooting it's like a duck duck shirt or something whatever it's an olive green really oh it's is it Remington no it just says ruddy duck it's got a little leather patch under the pocket right there but you know whatever I don't know but anyway I think we're just gonna wrap the video up I'm gonna get started on getting some of these um, photographed. I have 15 orders. It's Sunday. I would like to ship them out. So I'm just going to kind of skip the what sold um, video. I would like to test out my camera, but um, you know what? Let's switch over to my camera and we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty sure we're recording and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you five things. Count them. One, two, three, four, five things that sold for me um, this weekend. Um, this one I actually got at the bins. These are Boy Scout pants. These are convertible and they were new with tags. <clears throat> they were a boy's size 14. I spent $11 at the bins. So selling these for $30 was pretty much a no brainer. I was like, okay, I got an offer right away and I took the offer and there you have it guys. So be on the lookout for items like this, especially especially boy scouts um bsa you'll see that's usually in the title it stands for boy scouts of america so not a bad sale into what eleven dollars i spent total on everything i bought so 
I probably have maybe like two dollars into this item, so not bad. And remember what I said about cool K U H L. Um, you'll see like the two dots over the. See how it has the two dots over top of the U. These were thirty three thirty. Um, the one pair is actually getting returned because I didn't list them right. I listed them as, um, I don't know if these ones are free. These are the free riders that sold. I'm not sure. I know I just sold a pair. I took an offer for 40. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't want to show any information there. But um, anyway, I picked these up. They were $2. I think they were, it was at a yard sale. I think they were $2 a piece. It might have been it might have been at the thrift stores i don't remember but i got an offer right away for 30 dollars for these so i was like yeah i got these at a um i got them at like a like a slash consignment shop thrift store whatever it's more like a thrift store um that's where i found, found a bunch of cool records there one time i always find cool stuff there i did find some hats um some of the hats were okay but they weren't that great but uh anyway four dollars into 30 not a bad um not a bad sell there either so yeah we're just going to go through a couple things i'm just going to show you just this couple things i just want to test out my camera i did do a test um for the audio and video and it's not um it's not delayed it doesn't have latency um and the video is okay so not too bad i think it was like a 30 or 40 dollar camera i don't remember but um anyway this is the dc universe reverse flash so I bought a bunch of these characters off of this old man and he had tons of them and I just every time I, I'll just go on Friday and if he has them he has them if he doesn't he doesn't um, he's just kind of pulling them out of a house but I think he said that the next place he's going to there's like a hundred boxes and they just kind of just unload them and whatever's in them is in them it's always a mystery that's kind of the reason why everybody goes there every friday and you have people that are an hour early unfortunately for me i can't be early like that because he opens at nine my kids go get off get on the bus about 7 30. um i sh i can leave my house and be there maybe a half hour early at the most because it is like a 40 minute drive but i've been doing really well on these characters i just been selling them anywhere between 15 dollars and all the way up to like 50 or 60. some of the bigger ones more rare ones do sell for a little bit more so um, this one is, I don't think there's markings on it, but, uh, I don't know. Some of them are Mattel. Some of, you know, they're just different brands. And this I just sold. Um, he offered me 40 on it. It's actually on sale from 65. I priced it high because it is, it is old. It is made in USA. Um, it is, I guess it's polyester. Is that what it is? I think it's polyester. It's acrylic. I'm sorry. Um, these old. These old V-neck golf sweaters are usually made out of acrylic, but it has the old Eagles um, logo. And this is Kelly Green. This color green, this bright green is called Kelly Green. Um, it's a little bit more rare. That's why I put it in the title. I'm getting really good with my titles. Don't want to brag or toot my own horn, but vintage Philadelphia Eagles, Kelly Green, V-neck, pullover sweater, NFL, um, Garen, USA, large. And then... I usually try to fit a little bit more in down in here. I don't have a template. I was doing that before. It's just another copy paste. It's just a waste of time. Nobody reads it anyway. Everybody knows the rules to the um. Um, they tell you to put your. I used to. I used to put my template in, and my template was. It had all of the, all of the rules for the. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. Um, for people that are buying overseas, you know, the international fee, um, whatever, notice or note or whatever you want to call it. I had all of that in my template, and it's just another step that you have to take. I'm just trying to make it so that I have less and less steps to go through <clears throat> to get a listing listed. So with that being said, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and tuning in to my channel. I hope you guys learned something today. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. I got work to do.